Man, anyone else's allergies terrible. My allergies are just like, I can't open my eyes. I may have clickbaited you a little bit. I'm probably gonna say like, I almost sold a thousand dollar ring for a dollar. And that's kind of true. This ring right here, let's, well, I'll show you better on the other side of the camera. This ring right here, initially I wasn't sure what it was. You can tell, you know, anytime a ring is heavy or has intricate designs, it's worth looking up, but I didn't realize right away that those were diamonds there, first of all. And second of all, this maker's mark, if you can see it, those three lines, that's John Hardy. John Hardy, this ring came in the, uh, the bulk lot I paid, I don't know, four or five bucks for it. And I think the retail cost on this ring is probably 600 bucks, maybe 800, somewhere in that range. I'm not sure, it's not for sale anywhere new. It's on the real real, used for 500. And so I think maybe a thousand, maybe somewhere, but around that, uh, that's the basic range. Uh, I have it listed for 500 bucks and I don't know if that's too high, but you know, when you have one of a kind or at least one, one not one of a kind, but the only one for sale, you can kind of go up a little bit, especially two weeks before Christmas or it's, I guess, you know, three weeks and two days before Christmas. And maybe the Blake of 10 years ago would have missed that. Uh, you takes time to learn the brands and become familiar with stuff. And John Hardy's not like Gucci or Tiffany, in my opinion, at least. I don't know, I'm not a jeweler. If you're a jeweler, swoop in and correct everything I'm saying wrong. Uh, but if you're not, and you're just a regular person like me, you, it takes time to learn these things. And yes, maybe 10 years ago, I would have missed that maker's mark and I wouldn't have known how to look it up and I wouldn't have had the, the memory and the recall uh, and I would have sold it in an auction and I would have made 30 bucks, maybe, or 20 bucks, or not not the most you can make when it's buy it now. Um, on jewelry, overwhelmingly, auctions are going to migrate towards like around 60 to 70 cents per gram, depending on the price of silver. Uh, and with, you know, a few exceptions, that ring may have been an exception, but it wouldn't have gone for $400, I don't think. It may have, but most likely it wouldn't have. And that's just, as with anything, takes time. You have to, you know, learn the ropes and, and develop your skills and all that good stuff. More good stuff right here. More video games. Man, this has been nuts. My warehouse is filling up full of cardboard boxes. I keep telling myself, you're going to use them. Use them for FBA stuff, you know, beginning of next year because FBA stuff right now is pointless. There's no, there's no way you're going to get your things FBA'd and sold and delivered before Christmas. Everything is backed up and screwy so what do we do today ship out a whole bunch of orders process the games i guess and uh just keep on keep on doing what we're doing let's look through an example of what i'm buying so i paid 88 bucks for this and it's 40 video games 20 wii games 20 i think these are xbox games yeah original xbox games so stuff like this, uh, I'm gonna sell this, probably I'll bundle it with Fable 2 and 3. And I don't know what the going rate is, but I, I think it's complete, I'm, you know. Yeah, this is complete. When you sell complete video games, you can really upcharge. I'm so used to Amazon where it's like, you know, a race to the bottom constantly on eBay. When you sell collectibles like this, like Fable is a, a very appreciated RPG series. I think they're RPGs. Uh, there are people out there who are willing to pay 10 or 15 bucks a game if they're in really good condition like this. Uh, and that's why having one of those disc refinishers matters so much. Because it really isn't a matter of like, I think this disc is probably decent yet. Uh, I mean like that. You know, this is going to take probably one or two passes on that machine. Which takes about a minute or two. Uh, I'll bundle it with those two other games. And then I bet we'll sell it for around between 30 and 50 bucks. I don't know what the market rate is, but we're going to sell it on that. Uh, games like this, Pirates, Legend of the Black Cat, wish it was sealed. Um, really, I'm just looking for like anything complete in box. I think this is a lower value game. Delta Force Black Hawk Down. What I do with games like this, and probably like this, yeah, this is the... Uh, I've got four or five of these in stock. So what I'm gonna start doing now is they're not selling. I think I have them at $9.95. I'll bundle these kinds of games together and I'll say like military war games. 
And using keywords like that, having them in, I, this one feels like it has a manual too. Yeah, having them complete, having them with mint data side of the disc uh, really does give you a significant advantage on eBay. One that I don't think is necessarily present on Amazon. Amazon, you can get some uh, bonus for being very good or like new condition, but at a certain point, if the buyer can't see, especially for these old, this game is what, 20 years old? Yeah, 2005, almost 20 years old. For a game that old, to have it in this good of condition, which is not like nothing to write home about, but it's still very good condition. I wouldn't say like, no, I'd say very good. Uh, you can significantly increase your margin. So like I paid, I paid two bucks per game. If I can sell this one, this one, uh, we'll try and make it, this probably weighs about eight ounces. So maybe we'll put, we'll try and get it right below a pound or right below two pounds. So shipping is cheap per game. But if we can get 10 bucks or eight bucks per game, and then it ships for a buck 50 per game, and then fees are a buck 50 per game, we're still more than doubling our money, which, uh, which is not a bad way to go if you can sell it in a week or two, which is, that's my goal, especially for right around Christmas. Here's something we should talk about that I don't think I've mentioned on, on YouTube. Maybe I did on Instagram. I definitely did on Instagram because a lot of you bought records from me. Uh, and that's, I did a big record auction. Not big, 25 records. Pretty big, I guess. Uh, all starting at one penny. Here they are up here. All really, not all, a lot of them in poor condition. Uh, but these were all auctioned off. And some of them sold for less than $3, which means I'm losing money on the sale. But overall, profitable. Um, a lot of times people get upset over like, oh, I lost money on the auction. Uh, and they don't really consider that, okay, maybe the other 95 auctions you made money on. Because um, I don't really know about grading vinyl. I know this is all very low grade. I haven't tested it. So I thought an auction is the most fair way to uh, liquidate just a small number of records. And I've got probably about 300 more back there. I think that that's gonna be like the mantra for, you know, what I'm trying to like think about as I work. Um, the idea of like not getting upset over one small thing if a hundred good things happen. I remember I was talking to Chris Lynn at FlipCon, Daily Refinement, and we were talking about feedback and that kind of stuff. And he says, look at Best Buy. Best Buy is an eBay store, one of the biggest eBay stores there is. He says, look at their feedback. Not hundred percent, and they don't care. If Best Buy doesn't care about 100% positive feedback, why do you care? And I'm not saying that it's not good to be to have good customer service. I'm saying like that's the right idea. You don't have to be perfect. You have to be good enough. And so if I auction off records and 3% lose money and 97% make money, that's still worth doing. And I'm not saying I was upset about it. I'm just saying like that's the kind of mentality I want to have going forward that I think we should all have in our life and business, like don't worry about the small stuff, focus on the big stuff, focus on the progress, focus on the things that make you more money, make your life better, make you healthier, whatever. That's what I'm trying to do. I hope you're doing it too. See you guys later. <laughs> That's the end of the video.